He doesn't like my room? What's wrong with my room? Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me a welcome back to Pitch Clock. Let's talk about Vladdy Jr. for a second. A little bit of a finger injury. The, the team is saying day to day. Does it make sense to perhaps sit him down, let him refocus, kind of rejuvenate in a sense, and put him on the 10-day IL? He's had some problems. Maybe it's been the hand all along. I'm just wondering, does it make sense for the team to do that? You know what, Dave? I, I say no. This is crunch time. You need him. Now, if, you know, if it's a, an injury that you know, it hurts him to throw the baseball, maybe he becomes the DH. They're in that fragile spot right now, the edge of that wild card. They need it all hands on deck, all fingers on deck. Other teams still fear him when he comes to the plate because he can burn you, and he's such a good hitter still. Even if he's not at his best, they still fear him. You have to fear him. One uh, player that opposition teams did not fear was Paul DeYoung. Rough start for the Blue Jays. You like that segue right there. I know you do. Uh, 18 days as a Blue Jay, uh, and then he was DFA'd. Do you think he got the fair shot, or did the team actually make the, the right decision in sending him packing? Yeah, I think they absolutely made the right decision, you know, because it's, it's all about winning right now. You know, and he got some at-bats. You know, he's an established big leaguer, right? He's a steady shortstop. He, you know, he's had some good offensive numbers over the years. But it's always tough, too, when you get traded, you go to a new spot, right? He's putting pressure, extra pressure on himself. But clearly, they said, you know what? If we need a shortstop for a couple games, Espinal could do that. Yeah. I tip my hat to him because you know what? They did the right thing because it's all about winning now. That's exactly it. Uh, hey, one guy that's really come through since returning from injury is Hunjin Ryu. 19 innings since his return. He's 2-1, and one, 15 Ks in those 19 innings. ERA under two. This guy's been very good. What's been the key to his success? Yeah, obviously, it's, it's been huge, right? Especially with Manoa's struggles. These guys come back better than ever, you know, yeah. with, with, after that surgery now. and He's got a different style, right? He's a command pitcher. He keeps you off balance. You watch him, he's in control of the game. He doesn't rattle. Final question for you. We're going to call this the rotten apple question. Which New York team has been the more of a disappointment, the Mets or the Yankees? Right now, the Mets, 23 games out of first place in their division, seven games back of a wild card. The Yankees have lost almost eight, nine games in a row as we do this recording. They're 17 games back of the Orioles for first place, nine out of a wild card. It's been terrible baseball in the New York area. I guess it just shows you, you know, money can't buy you success. The thing about those two teams, in that market, this won't last. You know, they, they don't go into rebuild. They'll, they'll reload. You know, every now and then, I guess you have a year like that, but with the Yankees, you know, Judge being down a while, you know, Stanton's been hurt a lot, Donaldson's been hurt a lot, you, you name it, right? With the Mets, Berlander didn't start the season with him, and, and Scherzer struggled, and Bassett was a key for him last year. Now he's with the Blue Jays. You know, and I don't think people mind watching the New York team struggle because they're the, the big money games, you know? And uh, I don't know if it's good for baseball that they struggle, but it's... Um, I guess it's good if you're one of the other teams. Want more John Gibbons takes? Sports Interaction is the official gaming partner of Gibby. Join us every Wednesday and Friday for Gibby's takes around Major League Baseball and, of course, the Toronto Blue Jays. Click the link and subscribe to our YouTube page today.